Determining the volume of liquid inside a piece of glassware with graduations can be a little bit difficult. Any liquid or solution inside a container is going to develop a meniscus, which is the curved shape at the surface that happens due to surface tension. The shape of the meniscus causes problems when trying to read volumes. Should you read the volume from the top of the meniscus, the middle, or the bottom? You shouldn't read from the middle. It's difficult to be consistent. So the options are the top or the bottom. And the convention says you should read from the bottom of a meniscus. In this example, you have a solution in a piece of glassware, and the graduations look to be 0.1 milliliters. There are 10 graduations between the 2 millimeter and the 3 millimeter marks. So with that information, you can say that the bottom of the meniscus is somewhere in between 2.7 and 2.8. And in general, you can estimate a reading to one-fifth the magnitude of a graduation. So in this case, our graduations are 0.1 millimeter, and one-fifth of that is 0.02 millimeters. So we can read to the nearest 0.02 milliliters. The first decimal place we read from the graduations, and the second decimal place we estimate. Using this method, we can say that the meniscus is at 2.74 milliliters. Of course, in practice, reading the meniscus isn't as easy as it looks using this kind of diagram. In practice, if you're using a burette, for example, reading meniscus looks something like this. In a lot of glassware, the graduations actually wrap around the entire circumference of the glassware, which means that if you line up the graduation at the front with the same graduation in the back, you can be sure that you're looking at it from a level perspective and avoid any parallax error. It can also be helpful to hold a white card or a colored card behind the glassware to provide a bit of visual contrast to help you see the meniscus.